I was browsing the internet for inspiration for my next project. When I remembered that my father-in-law had recently given me two old mechanical watches, maybe I could do something with them. As I explored the internet to gain some ideas, I discovered a vast community of DIY watch enthusiasts. Building a mechanical watch yourself and wearing it daily, that's very fascinating. I had to make this. As I dug deeper, I discovered that you can buy almost everything needed to assemble your watch. From the movement to the hands, all customizable to your preferences. I decided to use an NS35 movement because it is the most commonly used and has readily available resources and support. I also purchased a couple of sets of watch hands to match the design I had in mind. However, for the case and the dial, I decided to take the DIY route and create them myself. This video is brought to you by PCBWay. They have always been a great help with my PCB projects. This time, I came up with the idea of creating a watch dial using a PCB. In addition to the PCB services, PCBWay also offers CNC machining, which I can utilize to make the watch case. With no prior experience in designing watch cases, I once again turned to the internet for inspiration. I kept the overall design very simple, just the bare minimum without too much experimentation. I 3D printed several revisions in PLA to ensure that the movement fits snugly into the case. I used an FDM printer which does not provide a smooth finished print but was good enough for testing. Once I was confident that everything fits perfectly and looks good, the next step is to bring it to life. Head over to PCBWay and upload the 3D files along with the technical drawing. As always, you can find a detailed guide along with all the necessary files on the instructables. The link to it is in the description below. Once I received the case, I test fitted the movement along with an 18mm strap that I had lying around. Looks perfectly fine to me. There are a few things that I could have done differently, but let's keep that for a version 2, if ever that happens. That's it for this video. In the next part, I will be designing the dial using PCB and finally assemble the watch. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Give a like if you did and subscribe for more such videos. See you in the next one.